as you guys know, I've been a Formula One fan for a very, very long time. I've supported McLaren since the start, thanks to the likes of Jensen Button joining the team after his world championship win with Braun. But Formula One has changed. Formula One has moved on and maybe I should change with it. I'm going to do a little personality test put together by the Formula One website to determine whether I should still be a McLaren Formula One fan or if I should support another team this season. Which of these personalities would you support in Formula One? Do I love a proven winner, a Sebastian Vettel, a Lewis Hamilton per se, a young hotshot, maybe an Oscar Piastri, a veteran racer, a Kimi Raikkonen, and also Sebastian Vettel, Lewis Hamilton, or a talent waiting to be unleashed. I think we all know, I'm a Lando Norris boy. I'm a Lando Norris man. From day one, I've absolutely loved Lando, and he is undoubtedly a talent waiting to be unleashed. What kind of helmet design would you prefer wearing? Gold, I'm the best, absolutely not. Fluorescent colors, I want to be seen. Team colors representing the squad, flag colors representing my country. I'm definitely not a flag colors person, nor am I a gold person. Team colors versus fluorescent colors. You know what? I'm going to go team colors. I've made my Formula One channel the same colors as McLaren, the orange, the blue, the mixture of the two. And therefore, I feel like team colors is where I'm going. Although Lando does have a fluorescent yellow helmet, which I have there. But I feel like I have to go with my first instinct. Team Colours it is. A rogue question. What's your ideal meal? Nothing beats my parents cooking. The vegan or vegetarian option for me. I'll eat anything and everything. Not picky. Make it spicy. Now, I cannot eat spicy food. I once went to a Thai restaurant when I was at university. It was a double date. I decided that I would order something fancy something to look like i was a sophisticated gentleman because i was on a date with two people that were prospective lovers so i went for something that i had no idea what it was called and i just picked it the double date didn't go well because uh halfway through the date i was cry no, profusely crying just crying and nose dribbling and every orifice was just hot and i couldn't really breathe and also, I had to go to the bathroom because I just couldn't take it anymore. So halfway through this date, I'm in the bathroom of this Thai restaurant. My head underneath the tap in the bathroom, like, just pouring tap water into my mouth to try and get rid of this sting, this burn. And uh, yeah, I never, I never saw either of those girls ever again. Um, so not the spicy option. I've been vegetarian for quite a while now. I started being vegetarian kind of when my sister got into it. Then at uni, it just made sense because I lived with a couple of vegetarians. And now I just kind of continue going on with that. A lot of what I learned to cook was vegetarian. So now, vegetarian. I feel like I'm a little bit of an underdog. Win at all costs, maybe not. I'm not the most competitive man in the world. Plucky and bold. I feel like I can be quite bold at times, wise and patient. I'm patient, wouldn't say I'm wise. I'm going to go for the underdog. Again, a Lando Norris feel. He's in a McLaren. He's not in one of the big three teams. What's my ideal Friday? <laughs> What's my ideal Friday night? It's Friday night right now. We're on stream together. Pump some iron. Not really. Hit the town. Also, no. Stay in and do something creative. Is this not creative? Are we not being creative together right now on stream? We are. We're doing something creative. We're we're a creative bunch, me and you guys. Oh, this is a good question. What's my favorite type of circuit? So Singapore is my favorite track, which is a street track. But Monaco also kills all street tracks. I love Baku, though. Baku, a street track. I actually quite like Saudi Arabia street track. Old school tracks, I do like, but I feel like Monaco, again, kind of takes me away from that. Brand new circuits, always love a new circuit. I think I'm going to go street tracks. I'm Sergio Perez all of a sudden. I'm only going to turn up when there's a street track available to me.
Taste in music. Again, another difficult one to explain for you guys, for me. My taste in music has been described as similar to a 15-year-old girl uh, by my peers because I just like music that gets you going. I like music that gets me upbeat. And therefore, I'm probably going to go for a little bit of pop. A little bit of pop. I'm not a rock guy. I'm not a hip-hop guy. But I definitely, I'll throw some pop on. Get the moves going. I do like a little dance. What would you wear to a Grand Prix? Oh, okay. So this is like a, are you Lewis Hamilton, Joe Guang Yu, or are you Max Verstappen? <laughs> smart casual though. Has anyone ever worn smart casual to a Grand Prix? Does that happen? I feel like there's one of two for this, right? Oh, uh, whatever's comfiest, maybe. I feel like you just see them decked out in team gear 99% of the time. And then you just got Joe Guang Yu wearing like, some absolutely crazy threads. Lewis Hamilton throwing something into the mix. And then everyone else, the other 18 drivers, just like, I'm going to stick to the clothes that I get for free from the team that I support. And therefore, team gear. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Okay, this is tricky for me. This is tricky for me. Which of these Formula 1 cars would you take out on track? Now, as much as like Ferrari... And everybody is a Ferrari fan. We all know. Sebastian Vettel told us. I'm going to move away from the Ferrari. I'm going to move away from the Ferrari. I'm also going to move away from the Williams. I feel like if it was my dad right now, he would jump on the Williams car. Because that was kind of his era of Formula 1 where Williams were just winning everything. I am a McLaren boy. The McLaren MP4-4 is calling me. I'm a Norwich boy. Lotus, Lotus 25. Do I want that Lotus 25 in my life? Yes, I do. I went on a track day recently. I drove three cars, a Lamborghini, irrelevant, a McLaren, and a Lotus. So I've, I have driven a Lotus and a McLaren. I'm in two minds. I feel like just because I am a McLaren fan all the way through, I'm going to go for the McLaren MP4-4, but it does pain me a little bit because I also would really love to drive that Lotus. But the McLaren is also a more modern Formula 1 car, and I'm kind of feeling the, the slightly more modern era of Formula 1 rather than the Lotus era of Formula 1. Question number 10, where would I like to live? A Monaco apartment, massive countryside manor, beachside villa, surrounded by nature oh these are all interesting i feel like monaco is supposed to be kind of like the city option like I'd, I'd quite like a cityscape i like having everything within walking distance which i feel like maybe surrounded by nature moves me away from that beachside villa would be very fun i could get into some water sports massive countryside mansion though is also calling my name i'm gonna go for Monaco apartment just because it's similar to what I'm living in now not that I'm living in a Monaco apartment but I'm living in an, an apartment and that apartment is in the middle of a city so Monaco apartment it is okay okay not what I was going for not what I was going for I thought I was kind of leaning towards McLaren but this kind of works out in the end to be fair because Yuki Tsunoda is who I'm going to be supporting in the 2023 season. So outside of McLaren, I'm also going to have Yuki Tsunoda as my third driver. I feel like Lando and Piastri have to sort of take that step for me. Maybe Pierre in there as well. But I am going to support Yuki Tsunoda, which works out because I've got a lot of Alpha Tauri kit from when I had uh, my... Pierre Gasly phase. Japan's latest hotshot. This Alpha Tower racer is known for his aggressive approach and hilarious, often outspoken nature. Loves his food too. And you know what? Yuki Tsunoda, if he's still in Formula One in 2024, it's going to be because I drove him there. I pushed him to his absolute limits and he's going to get there because of my support. I, I feel like he might not be in Formula One in 2024 though. It's a shame.